Jungkook was sitting on the couch hearing the loud noises of dishes coming from the kitchen while regretting his decision of complaining about something he shouldn't have. He knew that it's next to impossible to get your forgiveness and he was trying to figure out ways that can help to get your forgiveness. You're seriously mad. If I go to her and say sorry, she will flare up even more. Why does this only happens to me? Why is she so different? He grabbed his hair but flinched when he heard something drop loudly in the kitchen. Come on Jungkook, you have to do something quickly. He got up and decided to go to the kitchen where you were working more like letting him know that you are still mad. He peeked inside the kitchen before walking in. He cleared his throat. Wow, you are working so hard. You should take some rest, sweetheart. His breath hissed when he pointed a knife at him. Who who? We are not on a battlefield, sweetheart. These things doesn't look good in your pretty hands, my lady. He took the knife from your hand. He walked to the other side while he followed. It's been four hours since you are like this. I'm sorry, baby. I was fed up with work, and that's why. You turned towards him as he stopped. Don't use work as an excuse, okay? It's not going to work on me. And why you care? You should be happy that now no one is there to disturb you. He tried to hold your hand, but you jerked. That disturbance is my key to happiness. How can I be happy without it? You pushed him other side and was about to leave, but he grabbed your wrist and came closer to you. I'm sorry, Vyan. Keep your sorry with you. He jerked his hand and left from there while he sighed. Stupid Jungkook, when you know you are stupid, then why do you have to show your stupidity everywhere? Now how can I make her talk to me? It all started four hours ago when he was working in his office with an important client. The situation was tensed as he refused to give Jungkook's company the contract they promised that resulted in a great loss. You were so worried about Jungkook's condition these days as he was overworking and also losing the sh uh, shine of his face as he doesn't even sleep properly. He come home late and when he finally do, his phone never let him breathe and he remains busy attending calls. Out of worry, you always make sure he eats on time. So basically you were telling him to eat his dinner but because he was so busy so he was ignoring out and out of anger you burst out on him so he also said some things that triggered you lead to an argument between you two. And now you are not talking to him even after he apologized for so many times. Nothing yeah, just everyday drama. Drama? Did something happen with Jungkook? Yeah, he's such a cutie, he doesn't even fight with you. You rolled your eyes and moved your phone to the other ear. He's not a saint, okay? We just got into an argument few hours ago and now I'm not talking to him. Omo, oh, seriously? This is new. I'm interested and curious to know what happened. Your jaw dropped hearing her excitement. Do you think it's funny? I can't believe it. Me too. I can't believe that you two fought. He must be begging for forgiveness, right? He's such a sweetheart. He's the one who started all that, okay? Don't think he's innocent. Really? But what actually happened? He explained everything to her. I was caring about him because he's under a lot of workload. I don't want his health to affect, that's why I tell him to eat and all. And do you know what he said? He said I'm disturbing him. I should not come in the middle when he works. I can't believe this man. Is that it? 
You scrunch your face in absolute disbelief. What do you mean? I mean, is that the only reason why you guys fought? Do you think it's not enough? You heard a heavy sigh of her. Jungkook walked inside the room but you ignored him. People should be grateful when someone cares about them. Not everyone is caring, but some people just don't know how to be grateful. You said indirectly making sure Jungkook know that you are talking about him and he does. Okay, okay, don't ruin your mood. Let's go for shopping tomorrow. It helps you in relaxing your mind and a new collection has arrived in our favorite boutique. Let's go there. Okay, anyways, I'm bored seeing the same face again and again. Talk to you later. Good night. You hung up. That same face you mentioned, you were talking about me, huh? I don't want to admit it, but you are smart in catching up things. You laid on the bed, pulling your blanket over. He slowly sat on the bed. Wayana, I'm sorry baby, that just slipped out of my mouth. You covered your face with the blanket. Okay, okay, I understood, but I think now you should forgive him. He must be feeling bad. I know, but let him be like this for some time. She laughed a little. You guys are seriously so cute from the start. You don't even know what a real fight looks like. You looked at her confused. This was serious too. I wish everyone fight like you guys. So cute. You are out of my understanding. She chuckled. It's okay. Forget about it. And see. Oh my god. Wow. This dress is so pretty. Isn't it? He walked near her and nodded after looking the dress. You were checking out things and some of them are really amazing but out of your budget, so you weren't able to buy much. Oh my, this is so pretty. There was a cute brooch that you fell in love with but it cost more than a luxury bag. So you thought of getting it another time. You walked to where Nancy was choosing clothes for herself. Jungkook came to the place you were standing a minute ago. He also saw that brooch and picked it before smiling. You shouldn't have to think more than once to get things when I'm here for you, sweetheart. He added the brooch in his cart along with all the things that you have touched since you came in the store. After spending good hours and lunch at your favorite restaurant, we went back home. You came back home, you have decided to end this drama because now you are already in good mood plus you can't live without talking to him more than this. You put your purse on the table and was about to leave but then your eyes fell on the same brooch you, were, you saw in the store. You picked it and was so confused. Am I hallucinating or what? How did it come here? Wait, Jungkook? But how? How does he know? There's nothing that I don't know about my sweetheart. He turned back and he was standing while well, smiling at you. He walked near you. I'm sorry, love. I'm not mad at you anymore, but this, were you stalking me? He scratched the back of his neck. I know that you wouldn't let me come with you, so I followed. You sighed and shook your head. Seriously, Jungkook? Then your eyes fell behind him. There were so many shopping bags neatly standing on the floor. You looked at him stunned. Did you bring all this stuff? 
He smiled proudly. Yes. What the heck did you bring? That's a lot. He said going near while he followed. You checked a bag and it was a pair of sandals that you were checking out. You looked at him completely puzzled. Who told you to buy these? There's more. You were too stunned to speak anything and too confused to understand what he's saying. You check other bags and there was literally every single thing that you put your hands on. You looked at him shocked. Are you for real, Jungkook? Why did you bring all this? How much you even spent? He came near you. Why do you care about money when I'm here? I didn't like when you left things like that. You had palm yourself. What a dumb man he is, God. Now it's his turn to get confused. He thought you would be happy and excited to see all this stuff, but it turned opposite. What happened? Did I leave something? He looked at him. Who told you to buy everything that I touch, huh? Half of the things are useless and not even of right size. How can you act so stupid, Jungkook? Is it? I thought he wanted to buy these things but didn't. This dumb guy just brought half of the store and half of the stuff is just useless. Yeah, do your money grow on trees? How can you buy everything without a second thought? I was ready to do anything to make you talk to me. I didn't know things would turn like this. Now let's go and return all this. But why? You can have all the things that are of your size and we'll exchange everything to your size. There's no need to return. What would I do to keep things when I don't like them? I already got everything that I wanted except the brooch that you already got. So I'm keeping that and rest will return. But you picked your purse. Bring all these bags. He walked outside smiling at his cuteness while he looked at the bags. Why I always end up becoming dumb? He picked the bags. Man, seriously that's too much. She knows everything better than me. A baby bracelet and hairpin. You laughed. At least don't laugh. I'm sorry but how can you buy anything without thinking if it's actually for me or not? For you on a challenge of getting everything that I touch? That's my love. I just want your happiness more than anything even if I have to end up feeling embarrassed. You looked at him and just wanted to kiss him right here. He's the cutest and most loving guy a girl can ever have. You didn't care about anything and kissed his cheek making him look at you surprised. I love you so much my bunny. Am I dreaming? It means you're not mad at me anymore. Why would I? That was just for a short time. Didn't you remember I slept hugging you last night? That is your habit. Yes, but I'm not mad and I would try not to be mad or else I don't know what else will you buy the next time. He laughed. You notice that he doesn't return that baby bracelet and hairpin. You looked at him after noticing the bag on the back seat. Wait, did you again brought? He nodded. But why? For our babies? I can't wait. Your cheeks don't think. You are seriously insane. No. I'm brilliant and soon want to be a father. And what if I say I'm not ready? I'll wait then. It's not like you're never gonna get ready. A chuckle left from your mouth. 
Jungkook, I have to tell you something. He looked at you. Yes, but why did you get serious so suddenly? He stopped the car and looked at you. What happened, Ryan? Tell me what you want to say. His heart started to beat fast because whenever you get silent like this, there's always a serious news. Ryan, I'm pregnant. There was a minute of silence as Jungkook was still processing what you just said. You're pregnant? You nodded. His eyes got moist as he put his hand over his mouth completely shocked. When did you find out and why you are telling me this now? That time I was calling you for dinner because I wanted to share this news with you but you ruined my mood. I'm sorry love, I was out of my senses. Is that why you were checking stuff from the children's section? You smiled and nodded. He hugged you tightly and then showered you with kisses, making you giggle. I love you so much. You always give me surprises that I can never compete with. I love you. You broke the hug and looked at him. I was already exhausted with this big baby and now one more. Don't worry, I won't let you realize that. I'm gonna take care of the baby. You just have to focus on me. You hit his arm while he laughed. You'll never change. At least grow up now. You're going to be a father. My heart is still young baby girl and it's going to be the same till my last breath. I'm gonna love you like this even if it's the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, stop making fantasies and let's go on. No, let's go on a date. Let's celebrate this great news.